so this is a grueling workout. You can eat that for breakfast! Fucking kill me. Hey. Welcome to our channel, Run Free and Strong. I'm Reto. We're back at a local high school track. It's a workout Friday. This is episode two of our summer track series with Christian. Coach and videographer, Christian. In episode two, the workout's gonna be a three by five K tempo with a five minute recovery. We'll try to keep these easy. I'd be very happy if I can do these at sub 25 minutes, uh, which is roughly an eight minute pace. Uh, so we'll see how we do. The goal of the track series is to train for the Yeti 100 miler at the end of September and see if we can hit a sub 24 hour finish for a 100 miler. I'm also still training for the 2025 UTMB. Let's go guys. Go. Nice job. 120. Want to come in around two minutes. Nice. 153, 154. Keep it up. A little fast. 535. Remember, 5K. Too fast. 725, 726, 727, 728. Doing great. Take it easy. Average it out. Doing great. 8.54. Coming up on the mile and a half here. I'm going to cut it for two. Fair enough. Wow. Hey guys. First repeat. Unfortunately, it didn't go as planned. 5K didn't happen. I get distracted, which I should not be, by folks that were walking or carrying weights around in the first lane. And I struggled focusing on my workout, my pace, etc. But I don't want to make excuses. I failed, I failed. Second thing that happened, I went out too fast. 724 for the first mile instead of around eight minute pace and that's 26 seconds unfortunately is what caused me to blow up on the second mile and then on the second mile i came through at one and a half miles i thought i had one lap to go i looked down at my watch coming through the finish i saw it was one and three quarters so miscounted by lap again no excuses these are why we do workouts it's to learn right don't get distracted pace ourselves Go out easy, run it down if we can as a progression. And third is, make sure we know what lap we're on. That's just a silly rookie mistake. We'll take a quick recovery and go out for repeat two. And again, I'm gonna cut these down from five Ks down to two miles. So three by two miles, pivot in the middle of the workout. All good. Nice job. Easy. Pace yourself. 130. One fifty two, one fifty three. Doing good. Don't worry about it. Just pace yourself over the next mile and a half. Three thirty eight, three thirty nine, three forty, three forty one, three forty two. Good pace. Coming up on the mile mark. Nice, very even. Seven thirty. Nice, you're killing it. Looking good, after this, just an easy three laps. It'll feel so good, keep it up. There's a 1200 to go. You can eat that for breakfast. Just an 800 to go. You got this. Looking great. Just a 500 left, that's nothing. 1420, you'll break 15. 1430, finish strong, solid, good form. 1440. Fourteen fifty. Awesome job. 
pushing 50. I know. Fucking kill me. Hey. Fucking kill awesome. me. Let's just go. Second repeat. Better than the first one. Complete eight laps to make it two miles. Went through so fast. First mile, 730. Negative split with a 1450. 730, 720. Happy with that. Let's take a quick recovery and not sure I'm going to do a third one. We'll see. I'll check back with you. All right, guys. So we did two times two mile repeats. The first one was a little bit cut short, miscounted lap. We're not going to go out and do a third one. We're going to call it a day. Some very key lessons learned. I This was hard, and I think that's the important thing. It was just putting in a hard effort, even if the workout doesn't quite turn out the way we plan or the way we would like. That's okay, as long as we put the effort in and reflect on it, come back, and let's do more next week. I'm going to hand it over to Coach Christian, videographer, for his final thoughts. Two mile repeats were tough, um, you know, but both of them being uh, under 7:30 pace, I think was was very solid. And I think uh, it's a little early uh, in the in the summer, and still have quite a bit of time before the Yeti 100. Uh, very achievable to work up to four of these two mile repeats at the same pace, around 7:30 or below. Uh, last start was at 7:25 pace, um, and I think by the end of the end of the summer, not only could we do uh, four of the uh, two mile repeats, but also do uh, the three by 5k um, on the track. Next week we're going to be doing um, 300s and 600s um, as a uh, faster paced track workout. Um, get some speed in there, activate the fast twitch muscle fibers that are very important especially uh, towards the end um, of a race. That's going to help and then we can move up the volume to 800s and uh, back it up to, to two milers I think. I think it'll be a great summer. I think I'm going to do very well. So that's it from us. Uh It's workout Friday at the local high school track. We have episode three of our summer track series and I'm here with Christian. Coach and videographer Christian, who you guys met in episode one and two. The summer track series is geared towards preparing me to attempt a sub 24 hour 100 mile finish at the Yeti 100 in September. So let me hand it over to Coach Christian and he's gonna describe today's workout. I think last time uh, the two mile repeats were very solid. Um, we're going for more speed, so uh, we're doing 600s and 300s alternating. Ideally, the goal is eight reps of each. We're starting with the 600, and uh, the pace is going to be around seven minute pace for the 600 and roughly six minute pace for the 300s. And we're doing roughly a one to one break for the uh, 300s and about 90 second break for the 600. Yep, here we go. Great job. Perfect, 25. 45. And 233. Great. Go. Forty two, forty three. Nice. One oh nine. Yes, I am still. Okay. We're at twelve. Nice job, keep it up. Seventy. Little fast. Ninety. Easy. One forty. Great job, two fifteen, two sixteen. 90. We have switched over to a 90 second break. That way the uh, workout will be more consistent, more complete. And here we go for the 300. I think it's also important to not gas too early. I mean, most of the break is walking across the field to the starting line for the next rep. So this is a grueling workout. Good pace, 60. 70. Good job, still on track. Set, go. There's a fox in the background. Keep it up. Remember, the goal is seven minute pace. You're doing great, 600. A little fast. 
122. All right, you're good. 90. Doing great. 141, 142, 143. Doing great. 234 high. And we're doing sharp 90 second breaks. Starting the next 300. This will be the third set. And go. Great job. 60. We're on the second half of the workout. We took a short five minute break and we are pumped for the second half, the first 600 of the second half. Here we go. Great job. Remember, sub 235. Honestly, sub 240 was the goal, but we're hitting all at sub 235 here. Perfect pace, 90. 141, 142. 220, 232. Almost 231. Nice. Flying, 65, 66, 67, 60. 60. Yep. Go. Perfect. Perfect pace. 24, 25, 90. I want to come through around 140. 220. 230. 1, 2, 3. If you want, I can grab the water bottle for the finish line. That should have happened this morning. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Or even last night, you know. Yeah, it's all right. I'll tell you about it later. Let me go. Let me go. All right, here we go. Next round. Looking great. Sixty-seven. Perfect rep. Ah. Uh, uh, five sets. Quick. In the moment. Reaction. Five sets done. After the fifth 600, going to 300, I felt my right calf contracting and pulling and tight. And I think it's dehydration and lack of electrolytes. I should have hydrated all morning, midday, during the workout. Yet another lesson learned. Feel good about the workout, coach. Appreciate your confidence. You're saying let's do eight sets. My thinking was between six and eight. I did five. So we're gonna leave it there. Coach, any uh, your thoughts from you? I'd say the workout was a major success. You smashed all the targets um, apart from the third 300, which was only one second off. It was a 71, but everything else was sub 70. Last two 300s were 67 both. We had aimed for around a 240 for the 600, and you were coming in, all of them sub 235. In fact, one of them was at 232. I think you could have easily done easily another set of 600 and 300. For next time, I think um, we could you know even increase the reps because you're you've you're not like struggling you're you know very strong up to this point you've smashed all the targets and um i think this is a very successful workout that tests speed and um endurance and i think it also builds confidence right after the last two workouts so that's important too so coach what's on the menu for next week the plan is around six to eight eight hundreds at um seven minute pace and uh just going back to this workout i was a lifter uh pretty competitive um my senior year of high school and junior year as well if there's one thing i learned from a workout is to not push to failure because that's how you get injured you know keeping a little bit in the tank even after multiple workouts in, in succession is important because you know having that reserve and not pushing it past failure or to failure uh can minimize the risk for injury which in turn over time you will outperform that way. Yeah, so episode three coming to an end. Hope you enjoyed Coach Christian coaching me through the workout, getting some good clips, and watching me push myself. 
If you enjoyed the video, big thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed to follow the channel, would appreciate you doing so. Thank you very much for watching. See you in the next one.